Hi, I'm Al John Go, product specialist with the Gibson Family Brands, and today we're going to talk about Gibson Gear's brand new Quick Connect pickup system. Gibson Gear's Quick Connect pickup system allows you to swap out your pickups very easily without any soldering. So whether you want something vintage vibey like the 57 Classics or the Burst Buckers, or something a little bit more aggressive, a little higher output like the Dirty Fingers that I have here, it allows you to swap it out and change it with no soldering. Gibson Gear is manufacturing these pickups for you all with the Quick Connect system on it. So here you can see the signature Dirty Fingers pickup and check out the back of the pickup. The magnet is holding these springs together, so we're gonna take that out. As you can see here, the five pin wire harness for the Quick Connect. Also in the box, you've got an adapter, which is great because if you have a guitar that has the five pin or three pin, you'll be able to use it. You also have the springs and the mounting screws as well also comes inside. And of course, the very back, you've got your Gibson warranty as well. We have our Les Paul standard face down and we're gonna start removing the screws of the back plate. Now that we've removed the back plate and the screws, now you can see the inside of the control cavity. Now you can identify the different pickups as you can see here, the bridge pickup harness and the neck pickup harness. We're going to go ahead and remove the harness for the bridge pickup that I'm pointing out right here. Just gently take it by the plastic and apply a little pressure and then you can see here the disconnection of the quick connect. We've removed the guitar strings from this Les Paul standard, leaving the tunematic bridge and the stop tail piece, and now we want to remove the pickup by unscrewing the four screws of the pickup ring. Now you want to remove the pickup as gently as possible, making sure you don't pull out too quickly to affect the wiring on the inside. What I've got is the burst bucker pickup from our Les Paul. I've unscrewed the bracket away from the pickup. You want to make sure you put a little bit of pressure up against the workstation as you unscrew it. You can see here how the springs are holding that tension with the pickup and the bracket in place. So you want to make sure that when you're unscrewing it, you put a little bit of pressure up against the workstation so that you don't lose your springs. What I've done now is remove the burst bucker pickup from the trim ring and attached some alligator clips to hold the springs down so that we can mount the dirty fingers in the proper position. So since the trim ring has a little bit of extra thickness on this side, we want to make sure that the dirty fingers pickup is positioned so that the writing is facing this way up. And then what we're going to do is screw the base plate on to the ring. So you want to make sure that that's lined up. Then take it and flip it over. Add a little bit of pressure with your finger and now we're ready to just mount this onto the pickup. Now we're ready to fish the wire harness through the cavity of the Les Paul. Now that we fish the wire harness to the back of the guitar, now we can attach the pickup to the guitar itself by screwing on the four screws. Now that we have our quick connector harness, we're going to attach it to the receiving harness here of the bridge. Before you restring your guitar and attach the back plate again, what you want to make sure is that the pickups actually work. So I have an alligator clip here. I've turned the volumes up and I can test on the pickups themselves to make sure that they are working. If your guitar doesn't come equipped with a Quick Connect system, all you have to do is trim this right at the very bottom of the shrink wrap, and then you can solder this to your guitar. Thanks for joining me, and to find out more about Gibson Gear's Quick Connect pickup system, be sure to check out your local Gibson dealer, or find out more at Gibson.com.